right, Goody, what's all this? Another promising contender for the regional heats of young delinquent of the year? <laughs> what have you been up to, Sonny? I ain't been up to nothing. In which case, you must have been up to something. <laughs> you find the English language serves you far better, laddie, if you use it properly. <laughs> so, what's he been up to? Taking without consent, Gov hit a lamppost. Don't call me Gov, laddie. <laughs> it's a short step from saying Gov to using cockney rhyming slang, and I won't have it. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> You're even thinking about being sick on my desk. First, think about removing this truncheon from your ear hole. Has the doctor been called? On his way, Gov. Chief, boss, sir. I've called Inspector Grimm, sir. He has to be informed if we picked up any joyriders. Joyrider is not a term I will allow in my station, Constable. This young lout was involved in potentially murderous delinquency. Well, I'm sorry, Inspector. I was only saying... I know what you were only saying, Constable. <laughs> but it's not good enough. Crime is crime and should not be trivialised. What next? Are we to refer to grievous bodily harm as fun punching? <laughs> Assault with a deadly weapon as a laugh and a stab? Occupation? Ducking, diving, dodging, weaving. So I'll just put total pratt, shall I? <laughs> Nigel Mansell, empty out your pockets. You ain't got no right to search me. Now, there you are wrong. I have every right to search you. Indeed, if I suspect you of possessing drugs, I'm entitled to conduct an internal body search <laughs> involving a rubber glove and a large spoon. <laughs> Would you like me to suspect you of possessing drugs? <laughs> so, one ballpoint pen, blue, one contraceptive device, and a seed flavoured. <laughs> Two tickets to a rave. Hardly a professional's car pinching kit. I fear Inspector Grimm will find slim pickings here. I can't take any more! I do for someone, I swear! You're all dead! Yes, sir, can I help? <laughs> smack! Gotta have smack! Certainly. Goody, the gentleman wants a smack. <laughs> Four, six, eight, bugging the whip! Handcuffs, please. That's more goody. Are you chewing? <laughs> I'm going to ask you that question again, goody. But before I do so, I want you to consider the consequences of deliberately lying to a superior officer whilst on duty. Those consequences include dismissal, loss of pension, ostracism within the community, and in all probability, a lifelong dependency on prescription antidepressants. <laughs> now, let's try again. Are you chewing, laddie? Yes, I am. <laughs> Helps me think. I can't say I'd notice. He's got, sir. All right, Abby, well done. Take the man down. Cold showers, exercise and regular roughage help a man think goody. Not Wrigley's juicy fruit. <laughs> I will not have my officers going about the place like louts. What do you think we have plain clothes men for? <laughs> now swallow it. <laughs> oh, what a night. Let me tell you, I shall be glad when we're tucked up in bed together. Really, Raymond? Oh, yes, certainly. I shall be out like a light. <laughs> I expect you will, too. Mm. But sometimes, before we go to sleep, wouldn't it be nice to share a moment of excitement together? Mm. By all means, darling. i tell you what I could do. I could read you another chapter of King Solomon's Mind. <laughs> Bend over, Kevin! Egg below your chest! Well done, Habib. <laughs> Great heavens, what's the man swallowed? A bubblegum flavoured elephant? <laughs> Get him up. Give him to me. Look. Now, fist clenched, thumb inward, between navel and breastbone, other hand on fist, pull up sharply to force the upper abdomen against the lower lungs, ah, thus driving out the remaining air. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, Herb Fowler? Some bizarre uniform branch initiation. Oh, thank you, sir. 